Hello, and welcome to another Nulti Lightning Talk. My name is Beth Shook, and I am a product engineer at Nulti. Today, we're going to talk about intensive coding boot camps and what it's like to graduate from one and suddenly find yourself in the fast paced real world of web development. First, so you have some background on what exactly a coding boot camp is. It's typically an intensive software development course designed to prepare students to find work in the tech industry. According to recent surveys by Course Report, the average boot camp runs for 15 weeks and costs about $13,000. Keep in mind that most of Course Report's data is from the US and Canada, so this, of course, does not apply to all countries. A course Report survey also found that the average boot camp student has never worked as a programmer. And since we know that the average boot camper is about 30 years old, we can assume that many of these students are making a career change. We also know that full stack, full stack JavaScript is the most commonly taught language. Approximately 44% of boot camps focus on teaching JavaScript for the front and back end. And it's also worth noting that, boot, that the boot camp industry is booming. It's now a $309 million industry, and in 2019, it was projected that 23,000 students would graduate from coding boot camps, which is a jump of almost 50% from the previous year. So it's safe to say that if you're an aspiring programmer, if you're a recruiter, if you're a founder, coding boot camps are worth keeping an eye on. A few years ago, Indeed found that the frequency of resumes referencing boot camps was growing steadily. And from Course Reports data, it seems clear that this trend has continued in recent years. But what prospective students and hiring managers always want to know is, are boot camps all that they're cracked up to be? Are they worth it? In 2018, nearly 80% of boot camp graduates surveyed by Course Report had found a job requiring the skills that they acquired at boot camp. That group also experienced a median salary increase of 49%. So, so far, all of this sounds pretty impressive, um, but getting a job is one thing. It doesn't really tell us how prepared boot camp grads are for the day-to-day -day work of a developer. Now, if we look to employers, the response is pretty definitively positive. When Indeed conducted a survey of over 1,000 HR managers and technical recruiters at U.S. companies, they found that 12% of employers believed bootcamp graduates to be more prepared and more likely to be high performers than candidates with computer science degrees. 72% found them just as prepared and likely to be high performers, and only 17% said that bootcamp graduates were not as prepared as candidates with CS degrees. All of this seems to demonstrate that a coding boot camp can be a very worthwhile can be very worthwhile uh, both for students and employers. And this is where I want to switch gears and talk about my own experience, because I attended a coding boot camp and then joined the tech workforce, and so far have lived to tell the tale. Like so many, I attended a full stack JavaScript web development program. It was nine weeks long, so shorter than your average boot camp. And while I did arrive with previous coding experience, I hadn't worked as a developer in a professional setting. So my goal was to make a career change doing something I already knew I was passionate about. I joined the Nulti team soon after graduating. So what were the things that I learned at boot camp that helped prepare me for working as a developer? and specifically a developer at a fast-paced digital agency. Well, most importantly, I learned how to build things. At Bootcamp, our projects included static websites, video games built with JavaScript and HTML canvas, and small full-stack web applications. Building things, of course, is pretty central to the work of a web developer. And I also learned how to work on a team through daily pair programming exercises and small group projects. Learning how to collaborate in this way is definitely critical if you plan on working with anyone but yourself. And I also learned how to acquire new skills quickly 
if boot camps have anything in common, it's that they are very fast paced. You learn a pair of technologies over the course of one or two weeks and then have another one or two weeks to apply what you've learned to a real project. So all of this was certainly applicable to my job, uh, but there was a lot I needed to learn uh, in the workplace alongside seasoned senior developers, uh, designers, and project managers, among others. So one thing I learned on the job was not just how to build things in code, but how to build things well with clean and well-documented code, uh, accessible an accessible user experience, and an actual quality assurance process. Um, there is so much more that goes into building digital product products than just functional code. And these are all things you simply can't squeeze into a two or three month program. On top of working on a team, I learned how to collaborate with multiple developers with different coding styles across Git branches. Working on a team using Git for version control is very different from doing some light pair programming. And for most, this requires a lot of practice. And in addition to acquiring new skills, I learned how to acquire new skills with a sort of depth of knowledge. If you're learning a new technology for a project for a client, you need to read the documentation, read the forums, and really understand what you're doing. And a two-hour video tutorial is probably not going to suffice. At Bootcamp, I also learned a bit about tests, testing, how to debug code. This is something essential to code quality. On top of that, I learned to work in quote unquote sprints. Sprints in the sense that I was required to conceptualize and build applications in very short bursts of time. I also learned how to present a project to my peers and that included pitching my ideas and giving a walkthrough of functionality. Of course, on the job, things are a bit more complicated. I've now begun to learn how to write tests with the variety of frameworks and tools that exist, and this includes both unit testing and functional and browser testing, and even implementing visual regression testing. This kind of testing is really crucial to producing not just functional products, but high quality work. And more than working in short chaotic bursts, I've begun to learn how to work in a truly agile way with real sprints, time reporting, stand-ups, and retrospectives, uh, among other tools, all for accountability. And while presenting to classmates is, is one thing, demoing work for a client requires communication, customer service, and an ability to translate between technical and non-technical spheres. So in conclusion, while one does not simply learn to code, a boot camp can still be an excellent way to start the journey. For your reference, this is where I got my data. And thank you very much for joining. We'll see you at the next Nolte Lightning Talk.